Right, coming up next into UFC Heavyweight Showdown. In the game. He is able to use throws from judo and he's able to use wrestling in the from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend. He's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler. Holding professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong International. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Fist punch landed. And now he's got that tight punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? My right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Ooh, what a punch. Boy, Ty Club. Huge knee lands for the Ty Club. Both guys throwing potential. Oh, nice job in the pen take down and scramble to his feet. Start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, nice jab. All right, both fighters now continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Big punch land. Like he might have landed there instead, a swing and a miss. Finder Mago Metal. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, Superman punches true. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Way to hide that leg kick. Nice one-two there. 
guard and do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, crippling knee to the body. And a knee. Back and forth we go. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Wow. Actually got the takedown. It's in there deep. There you go. Oh, nice. fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. And they both stand up. Big ball was land. Now we get back to range. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, but even not enough. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And how he lands early when he lands off. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Take down the temp late in the round and he gets it. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground side. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Shot to the body is blocked. Beautiful straight counter. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Ooh, head kick lands. Hurt. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Beautiful punch. And they separate. Oh, and that is exactly how you turn defense into offense. Catches the kick and dumps him on the mat. What a great job timing that kick, driving into his opponent and putting him on his back. Now he's able to isolate that left arm. Look for him to step over the top of the head. Oh, oh. now he's in trouble on the elbow. He's going to chase the submission finish. Right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. If they try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. Nurmagomedov gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Ball lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh, that's a nice strike. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. 
just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range. Oh! He was hurt. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Nermago Medoc's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Both fighters here. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Counters with the left hook. Nicely done there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice strike there by Mago Meadow. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing the skill every single day. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Takedown defense holds up. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no free piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the... Oh! <laughs> what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Close guard. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Imago Medoff's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch landed to put his opponent down. Won that last round. This round, we want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. I want to see you work. You ready to fight? Ready. Go ahead. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Agomedov gets stoned by that leg kick. Lands a big elbow there. That is how you score close. Good punch. Oh, Superman punch is good. 
of the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Back and forth we go. And they separate. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Big knee lands to the body. Ooh. Big knee to the body. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, straight right. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He is... Oh! He needs to start missing the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop on this contest at two minutes, 42 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by Knockout International. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check. 